It's going to be a 50 foot tall T-Rex. I estimate it to be about 15,000 pounds uh, when complete. Um, its legs are about 13 feet tall at the hips. Its tail's 20 or 23 feet long. The head's about uh, nine feet long and then combined with the body and tail should actually be bigger than 50 feet now. I think it's like 53 or 54 feet by the time I get the neck done and everything. So uh, I don't know why, but all my projects seem to grow a little bigger. was really into dinosaurs as a kid so uh, when this happened I was pretty excited about it and especially with the um, the materials the budget the scale it was all like win-win-win project so I was pretty happy about it uh, I started with the mouth so Inside you can see the mouth skin inside of here. So I started with a, with the mouth skin to give it the overall bite or the shape And then I started building the gums around it and then from there I built the lips and then started to shape the metal um, Around it for the for the nose and where the eyes would go and stuff So it's just a, a an ongoing process of shaping bit by bit by bit um, Where we're at now is I'm I'm kind of happy with the shape that we're at I'm starting to weld all the pieces in fully. Um, in the end, these will I'll come back and I'll actually grind these out a little bit and blend them in and polish everything. There's still welding left to do all around the eye. I'm still welding. I'll uh, eventually be drilling this out and putting a pupil in there. And then stuff like this will get trimmed off and you know hammered down and tacked and, and welded completely. And just at the point now where we're just doing the finishing work, I've left all these teeth out. All these teeth are made already, but I've left them out because I've got to build the tongue. And the tongue is three-dimensional. So the tongue will go up in here, and then I'll probably lift the tongue after it's finished up out of the way, so the tongue is installed, but up out of the way. And then I'll put all the teeth in and finish the teeth. And then what you see here, and, and up here are gums, and that'll be the gums that wrap around the teeth. Each one of these pieces of yellow paper, they'll be taken out, they'll be traced onto some stainless. The stainless will be cut and shaped to, to fit in, in back in where the, where the gum, where the paper is basically, and that will build all the gums, and they'll come all the way up and kind of taper out. There's still a few more teeth to put in that'll get smaller and smaller as it looks like they're growing up out of the gums. And then once the teeth are done and everything's welded and cleaned up, I'll drop the tongue back down into place and then I'll go up inside and weld the tongue permanently so the tongue is locked in and strong. And then at that point, really, it's just a matter of putting the structural frames in the back of the head and shaping the neck into the frames that we're building for the body. The tail is going to bolt on right here and um, this is the transition to the body so this will be reinforced to support the weight of the tail once the tail is skinned. This, this is all drilled with bolts temporarily. We'll, we'll drill it out to bigger bolts and we'll weld the nuts on the back side and, um, and then the tail will be removable and you'll just see a nice seam here when it's fitted together out and when we're doing the installation. In this area, which is the largest rings, this will be the hips of the T-Rex, and then towards the, that end is gonna be where the chest ends, and then there's more rings that need to be attached still that will go up on an angle to attach his head. So it will climb, and this whole thing will be elevated to build it higher in the air so we can physically see the lines and the shape better. I'm gonna be adding a little bit to the belly, and I'm gonna be adding 
a little bit to the top of all these rings to give him a backbone. Rather than just be circle, he'll kind of have a crest and then a circle and then maybe even hang a little bit for the belly on certain rings. That'll give him his overall outer dimensions. And same thing, once we get this all reinforced and welded up and uh, the basic body is, is put together, we'll take it apart at the tail and right here is the seam for his chest. In this section where his hips will be and where it'll be attached to his legs, this will be removed and it'll be elevated up over the hips and we'll, uh, we'll be able to place it in place uh, because it's so small in here, I can't build it in this shop. The, the, the ceiling is too low, but this will allow me to uh, set his hips and then when it's outside and ready for installation, this piece, which will probably go up quite a bit higher than the ceiling as the whole thing will be mounted on an angle. And then his head would be, you know, maybe 20 feet in the air by the time his head is actually installed. So what you see here is um, a really large set of legs. So these are uh, all in stainless steel. The bottom plates are inch and a half thick stainless. They're approximately four feet by four feet wide. Um, they weigh about a thousand pounds, just the bottom plate alone. And then the structural pipe that you see here that will make up the inner strength of the mounting of the T-Rex. Um, being that the T-Rex 50 feet, his tail's in the air, his head's in the air. All that pivoting strength has to be uh, where they mount into concrete. So I wanted to make sure, being that he's probably 15,000 pounds, I wanted to make sure that he's super strong. The rings are dropped into place. Um, they give me the overall shape and then this ring will be in place and these rings. And each thing gets you know, tapered as it gets bigger. The rings and the flat bars will get bigger to shape his thigh and his leg and I'll try to shape them as I go so you actually physically can see the muscle. And then I'll take more flat bar and I'll tie them all together, which will give me kind of the outside. It's like drawing with a pencil. It gives me the outside lines that gives me the overall shape and something to build off of. And then from there, I'll actually take paper and we'll wrap everything in paper and make templates. And then we'll transfer that paper to steel and then we'll cut the steel and hammer it and shape it and do all the texturing and then start fitting all the pieces over top of the rings. So that's how we form the legs. And um, it's a little more complicated. The feet are gonna be removable. So we'll wireframe the feet. We'll, we'll bolt and weld nuts on the back of everything so we can unbolt the feet and have them removable. That way when it's mounted and, and anchored into concrete, we'll be able to take the, the feet, take them off, anchor everything down to concrete and then slide and bolt the foot back on and then we've got finished feet that you can't tell where it was bolted to the ground and, and just looks like he's standing there. So it should look really good when it's done.